Now, Kristen, let's congratulate you on this, your latest children's book, <laughs> The World Needs More Purple Schools. It is, and congratulations, a New York Times bestseller. Tell everybody about the series. Well, it's, uh, I love kids, and I think their minds are so special. We wrote The World Needs More Purple People and identified that a purple person is curious and adventurous and hardworking, and The World Needs More Purple Schools is basically encouraging kids to have empathy and ask questions and share their voice to learn more about the world we live in and the people that we share it with all in preparation to get them back to school. Now, the books, as you say, the books set in a school. Yeah. Uh, your daughters went back to school yesterday. How was that? How was everyone? Were they excited to get back there? They're excited, but, you know, I feel like maybe it's just with two girls that are in elementary school, but, like, the pre-production that's required to go back to school is akin to what I would imagine, like, are you familiar with the Lord of the Rings series? I am. Right, that level of pre-production right. where you have, like, everything, their hairstyles have to be picked out. We lay the flat man out the night before so no one can have, like, a wardrobe freak out. Realized on Sunday morning no one's shoes fit, so mm. went to the shoe store, only to realize my seven-year-old did not wear shoes to the shoe store because she was like, you told me we were going to get shoes. Wow. I was like, well, you still have to wear shoes. Mm. So, it, you know, it, it was a, Sunday was a mess. But we're back in school, baby. It's, well, it's a wonderful feeling. I mean, what do you, what's your house like in the morning? Do you, does Jason Momoa do the drop off? Are you in like some kind of big minivan, Uncle Slash in the back just teaching the kids? <laughs> Is that what it's like? Uh, they're in a, uh, in my only car and we have, I have an old pink Cadillac, so I'll be dropping them off. I love taking my kids. We, we, we play the music game. So it's, it's since, you know, little, since they're in kindergarten, I drive to school and since we're in traffic, you're coming down the hill. It's a solid hour, and, and I would just, i play a song, and they'll be like, Tom Waits, and then they guess for it, and they're like, Ani DeFranco. And so we would just play, and I that's where I teach them music, and we have a nice little ride to work, because it is stressful getting out of the house, and yeah. so I like to, if we get there in time, then we stop by the ocean, and if, if, if the traffic's not too busy. But I love taking them. Because we have a just... game on the way to school called the Keith game, which is if you see someone walking, someone has to shout, Keith! Oh, sorry, no, it's not Keith. <laughs> And sometimes, sometimes if we're at the lights, we'll go, it's a three Keith, and there'll be someone walking a dog, and we'll go, Keith! <laughs> Keith! <laughs> Keith! Oh, no, sorry, I thought you were Keith! And then we drive on. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Uh, yes, I do. Tonight's question goes to you. Uh, our, our guest this evening. Um, uh, when you're... You know, when you're... Uh, like, when you're in that, that, that zone, you know? And like someone comes in and they're like, "Hey, man!" And you're like, "Don't ever do that again." And uh, and then you might respond with like, "I don't know." And then they might respond with like, "Why? Why are you saying that? I didn't say anything." And then then you might feel inspired to do something at that point. Um, how does that affect you uh, in life if you're having troubles with anything at all? Kristen. Mm. Every single one of those interactions that I've had, and there have been many, exactly, I mean, verbatim, <laughs> is exhausting, and it always makes me need a nap or a cold plunge. Mm. How do you Kristen. handle it? Exactly like Kristen. Mm. <laughs> the Bell approach is the correct approach. It's absolutely correct. Please thank Kristen Bell, Jason Momoa, stick around, Megan Trainer, and Teddy Swims are here when we come back. Thank you so much.